In our first video, we showed you how to tie a basic hair rig, where the bait is suspended below the hook on a piece of thread, or as we call it, the hair. And we actually use that same line. This is 30 pound braid. We're using yellow for the purposes of the demonstration, uh, but it's just regular 30 pound braid, which you can buy in any store to make the, the overall hook link and a regular size six hook. So what we're gonna show you in this video is how we can improve this to make it more efficient at hooking fish. So what we're gonna use is we're gonna use some simple heat shrink tube that you can buy in most hardware stores. Uh, this is a 332nd, uh, 2.4 millimeter shrink tube. Um, if you can find a slightly smaller one, maybe 1 1.6, 1 1.8, you might find that more effective, particularly on smaller hooks, but this works pretty well. And what we do, we're gonna take a piece of that shrink tube and we're gonna cut it down until we have a half inch length and about a, an eighth of an inch length. And what we do is we'll thread this smaller piece onto our line the hook link the hook link and we'll slide that all the way down until it sits over the hair in about this position and what we'll do is we'll put that in the uh, steam from a kettle and that will shrink down and form a tight bond around the the hook shank and that hair and the second piece we'll do something similar to that we will Put that on as well. And we're gonna push this down until it's just covering the braid there, the loop, the uh, knot around the, the knot that's not around the shank, until we get a little bit, just as you can see, bending over the eye there. And again, we're gonna shrink that down and we'll come back and show you the results of that. So here we go, we're gonna shrink that around the hook. Should tighten down quite nicely. Sometimes it takes a couple of goes to, to get it to shrink down fully. But you'll, you'll know because it's uh, very, very tight around the hook and it should trap the hair very nicely. So now we're gonna do the same with the shrink tube around the eye of the hook. We leave enough overlap, about half, so that what we can do, as you'll see here, is actually pull that down in line with the point of the hook to form about a 45 degree angle. So here we are. We now have a little piece of shrink tube around the shank of the hook and over the hair, and we call that a hair aligner because what it does is it aligns the hair along the back of the, uh, the hook shank and it stops the bait tangling around the hook point. And actually when a fish takes that, the carp blows it out with such force that it will actually push that shrink tube back up the hook shank and the hair and the bait will help to pull that into the fish's mouth quite effectively. So we'll put that back into position. Now we have on the back of the hook here, you can see just here where the eye of the hook is. It's about halfway along that length of tubing. And this is what we call the line aligner. And the purpose of this, you can buy these ready-made, but the purpose of this is to actually create this angle here so that what happens is when the fish picks that up in its mouth, it actually causes a turning moment. So if this is the, the fish's lip, my finger down here, it actually causes a turning moment and helps to pull the line or the hook point into the fish's lip. Very, very effective indeed. And if we do the, the palm test, which, you know, it's not necessarily the best methodology to show how it works, but actually you'll see how that starts to turn over and the hook point goes into the palm of my hand. 
So it does work and it's a very, very effective way of uh, improving your hook sets and hookups.